hello guys in today's video I'm gonna go over a trick and you can use this trick to find a trigonometric functions values like without using a calculator so I'm gonna go over the method so what we need to do is first of all we need to make a table that looks like this so 0 30 degree 45 60 and 90 degree and then these are the trigonometric functions and we are trying to find the values of these functions for these angles okay so first of all what we need to do we're gonna write here 0 1 2 3 and 4 then we're gonna divide these numbers by 4 okay 1 by 4 2 by 4 3 by 4 and 4 by 4 so next step is take a square root of these numbers okay so we're gonna take a square root of these numbers okay square root of these so this gives me 0 over 4 is a 0 so square root of 0 is 0 and 1 over 4 the square root of 1 over 4 is 1 half and square root of 2 over 4 which is basically 1 half square root of 1 half or you can write it as square root of 2 over 2 okay and this gives me square root of 3 over 2 and 4 over 4 is 1 that gives me 1 okay so these are the values for sine so easy see so sine of 0 degree is 0 sine of 30 degree is 1 half sine of 45 is root 2 over 2 or can be written as or can be written as 1 over root 2 because 2 is 2 by 2 is 4 so square root of 1 over 2 is 1 over root 2 okay and 60 sine of 60 is root 3 over 2 and sine of 90 degree is 1 degree oh, sorry the value is 1 now we need to find the value for cosine and for cosine you don't have to do nothing just flip the values so 1 over here we're gonna write 1 over there and this will become the second term over here and this term is in the middle will stay at the same place okay and 1 half goes over here and 0 will go over there and you notice so cosine and sine have a same value at 45 degree and which is basically 1 over root 2 okay so that's how you can write the values of cosine now let's go to the tangent and you need to remember so tangent of an angle is basically is equal to sine over cosine you know so what we need to do to find the value of tangent we're going to divide sine value by the cosine value so 0 over 1 is 0 and 1 half over root 3 2 so that means one half we are dividing it by root three by two or one half multiply by two over root three remember when we flip the sign we write the reciprocal of it so cancel out this gives me uh, one over one over root three as those numbers are same divide them gives you one and this one when you solve it which is uh, this is basically 1 over root 3 and for this one sine is root 3 over 2 and you are dividing it by 1 half so root 3 over 2 multiply 2 over 1 so cancel out gives you root 3 so tangent 60 degree is root 3 and 1 over 0 is undefined so we write it as infinite infinity over there all right and for cotangent same thing as we did for sine and cosine we're gonna reverse them so we're gonna flip the terms so infinity is over here we're gonna bring the infinity over here or you can find it too cotangent is basically cotangent of an angle is equal to cos of an angle over sine of an angle so you divide the cos term by the sine term so this is 1 over 0 gives you infinity but the easiest way is just flip them around so this will root 3 was here we're gonna bring it over here and this will stay the same 
you get one over there now see tangent and cotangent have the same value at 45 degree and this will go over there and one over root three so this goes over there and zero goes over there all right now let's find the secant let me make a space over here so that we can do some math so let me raise this part over here Taking some time. Okay, almost done. <clears throat> okay, so secant secant of an angle is one over cosine of a. You know, so your uh, secant is one over cosine. So secant your cosine is one. So secant is one over one. So is one and the secant of 30 degree is one over this value which is the opposite of this which is 2 over root 3 and this value then comes uh, 1 over cosine is 1 over root 2 then you flip it it will be root 2 and then secant of 60 you're gonna look at cos of 60 is 1 half but we need 1 over cos of a cosine of a right so 1 over half when you do the opposite like when you're gonna write 1 over 1 2 gives you 2 okay and then you got uh, 0 so 1 over 0 is infinite infinity okay and then cosecant value so cosecant of an angle is 1 over sine of an angle so just flip the values of sine for cosine so 1 over 0 gives you infinity or 1 over the opposite or the flipping of this will gives you 2 over 1 2 or just write them from here to there in this direction so infinity goes over here 2 goes over here this term in the middle stays there and this will move over here so we'll come 2 over root 3 this one will go over there all right so you find all the values of uh, trigonometric functions for 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree and 90 degree and we haven't used any calculator see if you ever forgot the calculator before test or exam or during the test or exam you can make your own calculator see you can make a table and find all those uh, trigonometric functions values Again, the rule was we're going to make a table 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, cosecant. And we're going to start with 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then we're going to divide them by 4. Okay. Then we're going to take their square root. So we took the square root. So whatever you get from the square root, that will be the values of sine function for these angles. Okay. So this gives you 0, this gives you 1 half, this gives you either root 2 over 2 or 1 over to, to this gives you root 3 over 2 and this gives you 1 all right and cosine was just flip the values so 1 goes there this goes there and this term in the middle stays here one half of sine for cosine move there and this will move there and for tangent you know tangent is sine over cosine so just do sine over cosine and you can find the tangent and for cotangent you're gonna move these values in other direction Okay, stays there this one goes there this one goes there and secant is 1 over cosine so whatever is the value of cosine you just do 1 over that 1 you just flip them root 3 over 2 can be written as 2 over root 3 1 over root 2 is root 2 1 over 2 2 and 1 over 0 infinity and then for cosecant either you can find them by 1 over sine a or just flip the direction of these numbers so infinity over here in the end goes to the beginning Two here two goes there this term in the middle stay the same this number go there and one will move over there all right I'll I think this will be helpful for you guys if yes share with your friend even if not please share with your friends and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching I'll be making more videos thank you